The theory is that if we follow the sight of a person looking at a sphere and we project that on the surface, we wouldn't get a circle, but an oval shape. And if we drew this oval to the exact proportion and someone looked at it from the right viewpoint, it would appear to him he was looking at a three-dimensional sphere. Here is the eight ball. I'll make a little base with my needle eraser so that it doesn't draw while I am drawing it. Carefully, I draw the outline of the figure that is being projected on the paper. Remember that I am not above the ball, hence this is not going to be a circle, but an oval shape. You won't believe this, but I am drawing with my left hand, and no, I'm not left-handed. I just couldn't reach with my right hand because I am behind the camera. Let's do the last little pieces. Okay, here it is. This is how it looks from above. This is its actual shape. It turns out the best looking part is the one I made with the left hand. Anyhow, I refined the line now that I am sitting comfortably. By the way, when you trace the shape originally, you should be looking through the viewfinder of the camera, or if you are not using a camera, you should be closing one eye so that it works. I want this to have a chrome finish, therefore I do dark shadows and bright lights. I smudge the graphite with a brush and pull lights with a needle eraser. I get a reflected light bouncing from the paper, and I draw the artist being reflected on the sphere. The little base I made at the beginning left some grease, which marked the drawing, so that was a bad idea. But nothing that can't be easily resolved with the same eraser. I give a tone to the background so that the lights on the sphere look even brighter by contrast. This is how it is looking from above. I use a piece of paper to keep the drawing clean. Remember that it's the contrast between lights and shadows that produce the glow. I want more reflections, and of course, I do them following the round shape. The last details, and it is ready!